A big thanks to our sponsor, U4GM. They're a pro web service for Fallout 76. They have legit Fallout caps, weapons, ammo, magazines, everything you can think of in the game. They can even help you with hard challenges and get everything done easily. This is available on all platforms, so don't forget my code, TR3B, to get 5% off. Right then, today we are trying to get the maximum amount of XP possibly in the game of Fallout 76 so we can rank up the scoreboard or the seasons really, really fast. There's a really good way of doing that. Now, to get maximum amount of XP for your character, so when you kill, i.e. super mutants at West Tech, you're going to get a maximum amount of XP and rank up really fast. Now, there is a, uh, this is probably the best place to do it on the map West Tech, was a little glitch where you can come back out of West Tech after you killed everything inside of it, and everything respawns. But before you do that, you want to make sure your character is making the maximum amount of XP and the best way of doing that is is making sure that you've got a lot of intelligence going on in your special stats. Now to start by doing that you want to make sure that you're in a team of preferably four of you. You know what on some XP boosts from your perk cards like inspirational and we are gonna want on also if you have them this per card so that um well it does what it says on the tin beneficial bubble his magazines last twice as long but not only that there are a few other things you can do like having this piece of under armor which will give you another four like three intelligence points and various other things like or just general xp buffs like uh, nuclear cola cranberry uh, cranberry relish that's a good one it gives you 10 percent more the nuclear cola cranberry is two percent uh the leader bubble head for the extra 5p uh five percent xp and uh what else have we got we've also got berry mentas that gives you another five uh intelligence points and if you're a bloody build, getting down or uh, making sure your radiation is as max as possible. So you see that sign and therefore you get another extra few points on your special stats. As you see now on 52. So that's pretty good going. Um, living another 8 is another 5% XP when you're in a team. And obviously lunch boxes is the big one here because if you open four of these you get an extra 100% XP which I've done and there are various other items I haven't mentioned but these are the best ones that you're going to use and the quickest to come by it quickest to get this makes this game a lot easier quicker to level up also if you don't know another good one is having um, egg head serum on your character as well, it gives you plus eight intelligence points. Another really good one. And you're also going to need half decent weapon to come here at West Tech because they're usually, I think you've got to be over level 100. You'll spawn in over, uh, you'll spawn in level 100 super mutants, which you're going to get more XP from. But the great thing with this place on the map, as you can see other people already know about this, is you can go in, you can enter solo, and you can kill many suit mutants as you can, and you'll get lots of XP for it. And I just want to show you what I've been doing to rank up so quickly. So with a decent weapon, go round, actually I haven't got any, not a good reason why Barry Mentes is so good, is because it shows you exactly where the supermoons are through walls as well. That's always quite a good one. So as you can see there, we've got 10,000 points. We leveled up from the scoreboards and yeah, a lot more stuff. So we we'll go through now, we can show you how easy it is to kill everything in West Tech. And all we have to do very quickly leave the West Tech building, wait for about 30 seconds right outside and enter it again. Everything inside here would have respawned. 
This is what I do, especially when it's double XP weekend. I'll go around and get everything inside, wait the 30 seconds outside, then come back in, kill everything all over again. And that is a very quick way of leveling up. Because at the moment I want to unlock the scoreboard, all I'm doing is this. So basically, level up quicker, get them points, and to unlock, unlock everything faster. It's as simple as that. Like I say, you're gonna need half decent weapon or just be very careful. So this is a quad faster fire rate. Railway rifle. Good thing with West Tech as well. Sometimes it does spawn quite a few legendary enemies as well, which is always quite good. So I'm doing, going around, so much XP from doing this. Sometimes I'll just leave some enemies there and just go up to this section of the building. Make sure you come in here, because there's also a lot of high level super mutants. And carry on wiping them out. Really is that fast. Nice to level up 24 times. I only started yesterday when the update came out. Late yesterday night as well. So I managed to level up to was it level 24? Just in that short amount of time. One of the lower levels with less points. But uh, to me it's the best way, quickest way. Do it. So once we've wiped everything out, what we can do, I just want to show you how easy it is to respawn everything. So we just live up again there. So that's one round. At low level of doing this and you'll keep leveling up on the scoreboard it's that easy it's definitely the fastest way i can think of to level up the scoreboard as quick as well as the quickest way it's the quickest way you're going to do it that i know of so as you can see the same guy is outside here again i'm going to do exactly the same just wait outside the front for 20 to 30 seconds usually works every time what I do just to make sure is just wait here give it that 20 seconds everything inside will respawn so now level 25 in the top right corner there but yeah you just want your character to have the maximum amount of XP A good way of doing that, one of the best ways is making sure that your character has a maximum amount of intelligence. So I'm still on 56. So being in a team, having the perk cards on, having a certain build, being a bloody build, having the under armor that I showed you, and having all these different. Uh, Eight items on lunch boxes, level of eight. Uh, Berry Mentas, Leader Bobblehead. There's also the little game you can play, the Derby game in your camp. Also made sure I had that on as well. It gives an extra two intelligence, cranberry relish for XP. Little cola, cranberry. And I'm sure there's other things you can do to make your character have even more. Uh, intelligence and get more XP. Let us know in the comments how you do it. If it's any you think is a better way, let us know. And you'll know that this place is respawned with all the suit mutants back in there because these doors will be closed. Because first time I was in there open these left them open, respawned back in. Rinse and repeat. 
thought she might bury Mentas. Only last five minutes, I think it is. So I'll pop another one of them. They're going to show me where everyone is. I'm just going to do it over and over again until I've got the things that I want on the scoreboard. So it's that easy. Give it a go. Let us know. It goes for you. If you've got a better way, let us know. If you like what we do, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Fallout videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.